Hello everybody, this is Maris with Bauernhof German Shepherds and For the Dogs Training. I wanted to pop in, I've got a litter of puppies right now and they will start going home this weekend. So while I'm over here training eight puppies, potty training, crate training, trying to get them uh, set up for their new homes, I was thinking I would make a video for you guys and some of my other clients in case you're interested in some advice I have with your first day home with your puppies. Um, we utilize the crate here, it's a small space, it encourages the puppies to uh, hold their bathroom in. They don't want to soil their own immediate area and be stuck standing in it, so they're more likely to hold it in. So crate training is super useful, plus your puppy's going to have drive, be curious, want to eat and put their mouth on things. So it's really good to put your puppy in a crate when you're not supervising them anyways. So when you get your puppy home on the first day, uh, my puppies have already been prepared. We've been playing crate training games. So you can see in this video, I'm using just regular old German Shepherd Royal Cannon kibble. Uh, this is easily digestible for my puppies. I feed a raw diet here and I'm not seeing any stomach upsets when we use this kibble, which is super. So what I'm doing is I'm just tossing these treats inside each kennel. I leave the doors open. If a tail slams a door shut, great. I want them to hear the noises of the crates. I want them to hear um, you closing and opening it. I want them to hear that kibble dropping in there and I want them superstitious that this crate is a magical place. I get fed in here, treats randomly show up, all those good things. So this is a game I want you guys to try and play with your puppies on the first day. Wherever you have your crate set up ready for your puppy, go ahead and grab some treats and just let your puppy see you toss, you know, three to five treats in that crate. Let them jump in there, eat it. Don't worry about closing the door right away. If they jump out of it right away and try to mug you for more treats, just keep tossing more in there. Intermittently, you can close the door, open it back up, let the door make loud noises. The idea is that you want your puppy to associate all of the things revolving around a crate as a positive thing. So you can also feed them their meals in the crate, however many times you're feeding meals in a day. I really encourage you either do a training session with that meal or put it in your puppy's crate and utilize that meal time as a time to teach your puppy what you're looking for from them and their life skills. So this is a game you can play several times in the day. So that way your first night home with your puppy, every puppy's gonna scream away from their family. They're used to having a litter of puppies and other dogs around them. So before bedtime, you've already played this game a few times with them. Make sure your puppy's fed and watered and pottied. I usually take away water two hours before bedtime. This helps with potty training overnight. And then toss a couple treats in there. You know your puppy's crashing and tired. Close that door behind them and as best you can, forget about it and walk away. Your puppy might scream, don't talk to them, don't approach the kennel, and certainly don't let them out of the kennel. You don't want your puppy to figure out that screaming gets them out of the kennel. You've done everything in your part to build that positive association with your crate. Try to show your puppy that you're in that same immediate area, maybe in your bedroom or in your living room where you're hanging out, but don't let your puppy see that whining will get their way. They will give up and crash and fall asleep. You can wake your puppy up about, mm, you know, four or five hours later, if you hear them kind of fussing and waking up, let them out fast before they start screaming. And my suggestion is I would pick them up and immediately run them outside. Whatever door you're usually going to use to get them to go potty, rush them out, football, hold them under your armpit and get them outside. Because as soon as you put them on the ground, they're going to go pee. So put them where you want them to go potty. Don't let them run through your house. They will stop and pee in the house. Uh, as soon as they get out of that crate, they're going to go, whoo, I got to go potty. So your job is to get them out the door as quick as possible. Rinse, repeat. Every time you let them out of the crate, 
and your potty training will go a lot easier and hopefully your nights will be uh, a lot less sleepless. Anyway, good luck with your new puppies. I hope this helps you out. Take care.